الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولاه أما بعد اقتضت حكمة الله تعالى في خلقه أن جعل للإنسان ميولا إلى مخالطة الآخرين ومجالستهم والاجتماع بهم وثبت أن لهذه المخالطة والمجالسة والمصادقة أثر واضح في معتقد الإنسان وفي عمله وفي قوله وفي سيرته وفي سلوكه وفي سلوكه وسبب فيما يؤول إليه مصيره من سعادة وشقاوة دنيوية وأخروية ودل على ذلك الشرع والعقل والتجربة والمشاهدة It is ordained by the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that human beings are naturally inclined to intermingle with one another and to sit with one another and to meet one another and to talk to one another and it is confirmed that this intermingling, this friendship, this meeting, this talking to people has a clear impact on the belief of a person, on the sayings of a person, on the deeds of a person, on the behavior of a person. And it is also a cause for what this person will have uh, in this life and in the hereafter, whether happiness or otherwise. So friendship and companionship has a definite impact on the person in almost all aspects, in almost all aspects. And this is confirmed by our religion, alhamdulillah, and by experience and, and, and by what we see in our daily lives and what we hear of stories in the news and of many things that can prove that, that the friend has a definite impact on the, on the behavior of a person. So, because of this, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam talked about the good friend and the bad friend. He said, innama, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, innama mathalu al-jaleesi al-salihi wal-jaleesi al-su'i kahamil al-miski وَنَافِخِ الْكِيرِ فَحَامِلُ الْمِسْكِ إِمَّا أَنْ يُحْذِيَكَ أَوْ تَبْتَعَ مِنْهُ وَإِمَّا أَنْ تَجِدَ مِنْهُ رِيحًا طَيِّبَةً وَنَافِخُ الْكِيرِ إِمَّا أَنْ يَحْرِقَ ثِيَابَكَ وَإِمَّا أَنْ تَجِدَ مِنْهُ رِيحًا خَبِيثًا He said that the resemblance or the likeness of a good friend and a bad one is like that of a musk owner and a blacksmith. So the musk owner, he might give you out of his fragrances free of charge. He will give you a musk that is pleasant in smell, free of charge. Or you may also buy from him as well. Or at least you benefit from smelling a pleasant 
fragrance when you are around him. So these are all benefits. Nothing is harmful. You know, the friend, the good friend, when you sit with him, you only benefit, not harm. But the bad friend, the, the likeness of whom, is the blacksmith. If when you sit around with a blacksmith, you know, he blows in the billows, right? He blows fire. So some of those sparks, if you sit with him, might hit you and might then what? Burn your clothes, right? Or the least harm that you will, you know, get from the blacksmith is to smell a repugnant smell, a unpleasant smell. So this is the likeness of a bad friend. This is how Rasulullah described the good friend and the bad friend. The good friend, you only benefit from him. The bad friend, you only what? Get harmed. Get harmed from him. No benefit from the bad friend. You only get harmed. Also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in Surah Al-Furqan that one will regret that he befriended so and so because that so and so misguided him and made him go astray and made him a disbeliever or he made him a disobedient person he led him to fall into sin. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ويوم يعض الظالم على يديه when the wrongdoer will bite his hands out of regret, out of remorse. ويوم يعض الظالم على يديه يقول يا ليتني اتخذت مع الرسول سبيلا He will say, I wish I had taken away with the messenger, you know, taken away to the paradise. Because the ways of the messengers, they all lead to paradise. So he would wish to take away with the messenger. He regretted what he did. And then what did he say? He said, Ya laytani lam attakhidh fulanan khalila. I wish I did not take so and so a friend. I wish I had not befriended so and so. Ya laytani lam attakhidh fulanan khalila. Laqad adallani anil dhikri ba'da ijjaani. Wa kana shaytanu lil insani khadula. He said that so and so, he has led me astray. He had misguided me and kept me away from the reminder, from the Qur'an. He kept him away from reading the Qur'an. He kept him away from pondering, from reflecting on the Qur'an. <coughs> he uh, turned him away from implementing the Qur'an in his life. So this tells us the impact of friendship. The friend that he took, he was the cause of his demise, of his bad destiny in the hereafter. And then he would say, I am innocent of you, right? Like shaitan. Shaitan would say, I am innocent of you. You know, I, I just called you and you followed me. This is, this is, he's a betrayer. Right? A betrayer, a deserter. At the times difficult, of difficulty, he will desert you. He will betray you. He will say, oh Allah, I have nothing to do with, with him. I just called him and he followed. I did not force him. He was the one who followed me. So this is the same as a bad friend. The bad friend will do the same thing. So this is a warning from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to befriend bad friends. And this applies specifically to our youth. Uh, 
nowadays to be careful whom they want to befriend. Very important that we choose our friends carefully. They have a great impact on us. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even commanded his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he said in Surah Al-Kahf وَاصْبِرْ نَفْسَكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاتِ وَالْعَشِيِّ يُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَهُ وَلَا تَعْدُ عَيْنَاكَ عَنْهُمْ تُرِيدُ زِينَةَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَلَا تُطِعْ مَنْ أَغْفَلْنَا قَلْبَهُ عَنْ ذِكْرِنَا وَاتَّبَعَ هَوَاهُ وَكَانَ أَمْرُهُ فُرُطًا these are commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to whom? To the messenger himself, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, told the Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, persevere in patience with those who remember Allah night and day. Seeking only his countenance. يُرِدُونَ وَجْهَهَ وَلَا تَعْدُ عَيْنَاكَ عَنْهُمْ And do not turn your eyes away from them. Wanting the ad- adornment of this worldly life. وَلَا تَعْدُ عَيْنَاكَ عَنْهُمْ تُرِيدُ زِينَةَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَلَا تُطِعْ مَنْ أَغْفَلْنَا قَلْبَهُ عَنْ ذِكْرِنَا And do not obey the one whom we have his heart heedless of our remembrance. وَلَا تُطِعْ مَنْ أَغْفَلْنَا قَلْبَهُ عَنْ ذِكْرِنَا وَاتَّبَعَ هَوَاهُ And he followed his caprice. وَكَانَ أَمْرُهُ فُرُطًا And his affairs were all negligence. He neglected the duties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordained on this person. So this is like the bad friend. Do not obey a bad friend. Because they only lead you astray, they will only lead you to commit what displeases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A bad friend will not say, let's go to the masjid and pray, right? Or let's read the Quran, or let's learn a, a prophetic tradition, or let's learn how to improve our behavior or our, our manners. A bad friend won't tell you that, but will tell you other things, right? Let's go to so-and-so place, right? They will lead you to committing sins, to indulging in drinking alcohol, in using drugs, in committing fornication and adultery, this is what a bad friend will lead you to. He won't lead you to that which is good, rather he will lead you to that which is all bad. Umar, uh, Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with both of them, the son of Umar radiallahu anhu, قال, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم المؤمن in ma shaytahu nafa'ak. He said, the believer, if you walk with him, along with him, he will benefit you. Wa in shawartahu nafa'ak. And if you consulted him in something, you have something that you have concern of you, and you wanted to consult with him, he will also benefit you. Wa kullu shay'in min amrihi manfa'ah. And everything related to his affairs is a benefit. So in all cases, befriending a believing person is all benefit to you. It's all benefit. You will not lose anything. Also on Ibn Umar, and the same person, the son of Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, he said that Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم said قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم مثل المؤمن مثل النخلة ما أخذت منها من شيء نفعك he said that 
the likeness, the similitude of a believing person is like that of a palm tree. Whatever you take from it, it will be of benefit to you. It's all about benefit. When you befriend a righteous a friend, a righteous person, you will only benefit from that person in all cases, in all cases. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said when he talks about different kinds of people, he said, Inna minan nasi nasan mafatiha lil khayri magaliqa lil sharri. He said that amongst people, there are people who are keys to all that is good and locks to all that is evil. So they are keys to all that is good. They will open up for you all that is good. And they will lock you out of anything that is evil. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those. وَإِنَّ مِنَ النَّاسِ وَإِنَّ مِنَ النَّاسِ نَاسًا مَفَاتِيحَ لِلشَّرِّ مَغَالِيقَ لِلْخَيْرِ And amongst people, there are also people who are keys to all that is evil and locks to all that is good. So they will open up the gates of evil and they will close up the gates of good. فَطُوبَى لِمَنْ جَعَلَ اللَّهُ مَفَاتِيحَ الْخَيْرِ عَلَى يَدَيْهِ And he said, happiness will be bestowed upon those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the keys of goodness or of good at his hands. He was the cause for that. وَوَيْلٌ لِمَنْ جَعَلَ اللَّهُ مَفَاتِيحَ الشَّرِّ عَلَى يَدَيْهِ And woe to him or her whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the keys of evil by or through his hands or her hands. He made them, he made them a cause of evil. So these are woe to them. There are many benefits to befriending good friends. Amongst them is that the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon these righteous friends will also encompass the one who mingles with them, the, the one who befriends them. And the good will also encompass, encompass, will also encompass him, he who sits with them, even if, he, if his deeds are not up to the level of theirs. And, and this is uh, indicated by the hadith or the prophetic tradition of Abi Hurairah. May Allah be pleased with him when he said that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal Inna lillahi malaikatan yatufuna fi turuq yaltamisuna ahla al-dhikri He said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has angels who will roam the streets or the ways or the roads looking for the people of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ahlul Dhikri, or the, or the people of the Qur'an, the people of the scripture of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَإِذَا وَجَدُوا قَوْمًا يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ تَنَادَوا And when we see, when, when they see, when they see people who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and study the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, study the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yadhkuroon Allah, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When they find them, they will say to one another, let's go, this is what you want. And they will surround them with their wings. فَيَحُفُّونَهُمْ بِأَجْنِحَتِهِمْ إِلَى السَّمَاءِ الدُّنْيَا they will surround them and they will surround them until they reach the lowest of heavens. 
فيسألهم ربهم عز وجل وهو أعلم منهم أن الله سبحانه وتعالى will ask them and he is more knowledgeable than them he would say ما يقول عبادي he would say what my servants are saying what are my servants saying and the angels will reply يسبحونك ويكبرونك ويحمدونك ويمجدونك he would say they are glorifying you they are greatening the na- your name and they are praising you and subhanallah and this is what the malaika are saying to allah and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say fa'ushhidukum anni qad ghafartu lahum and he says i will make you witnesses that i have forgiven them and then a, an angel of those angels will say فيقول ملك من الملائكة فيهم فلان ليس منهم إنما جاء لحاجة he would say there is so and so he is not amongst them but he only came for a something that he needs and in another narration فيهم فلان عبد خطاء إنما مر فجلس معهم yeah, amongst them is so and so he is a, uh, a, a a servant of Allah who makes a lot of mistakes and he was just passing by and he sat with them so he wasn't amongst uh, of them so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say humul julasa'u la yashqa jalisuhum and in another narration walahu qad ghafartu humul qawmu لا يشقى بهم جليسهم. He said that these are the people uh, that uh, the one who sits with them will never be miserable. Will never be miserable. And and another narration, he said وله قد غفرت. And I also forgave him because they are the people who is uh, companion or whose friend will not be miserable at all, will be happy. SubhanAllah. Just because he sat with them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave him. This is how يعني, great befriending righteous people, going with righteous people and knowing righteous people. This is how great it is. So we should seek to befriend only righteous persons. If we know someone who is committing sins and he's going astray, we should keep away from from him. We should not befriend that person. Subhanallah. Uh, Also, the one who sits with righteous people, he or she will try to be what? Like them. In righteousness. In straightforwardness. And this is... uh, 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 seen by, by, by experience as well seen by experience uh, Rasulullah also said Al-Arwahu Junudun Mujannadah Ma ta'arafa minha talaf wa ma tanakara minha khtalaf Subhanallah that the souls or the, the spirits of, 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 of people are like uh, Subhanallah uh, sometimes you see a friend you see someone and you will love love that friend that, yeah, right away. It's that person. You don't, he's not a friend, but he's a person. And the moment you lay eyes on that person, subhanAllah, you love him for some reason. Right? And sometimes you see another person and you will be repelled from him and you wouldn't, yeah, subhanAllah, like him. And this is, subhanAllah, this is in the nature of everybody. So, there are people uh, whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, made righteous and made people love them. In the amanu wa amilu salihati sayaj'alu lahum ar-rahman wudda. You know, those who believed and did righteous deeds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make others love them. SubhanAllah. This is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows on some people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us 
of those people, inshallah. Also, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, you know, the, the well-known companion, may Allah be pleased with him. He said, مَا مِنْ شَيْءٍ أَدَلُّ عَلَى شَيْءٍ وَلَا الدُّخَانُ عَلَى النَّارِ مِنَ الصَّاحِبِ عَلَى الصَّاحِبِ He said, there is no evidence clearer than a, a friend on his friend. Not even the, uh, the, uh, the smoke that comes out of, uh, as a result of fire. So when we see a, a, a smoke, you know that there is a fire. So there is no smoke without fire, right? So this is an evidence. Is this a clear evidence? It is a clear evidence. But he is saying that the evidence of a, of a friend is clearer on a friend. The evidence of a, a friend on a friend is clearer than the evidence of a smoke on the fire. You know, the, the smoke tells us that there's a fire. The friend tell, tells us exactly the behavior of his friend. Very obvious. And we know that there is a metal, there is a, there's a, there's a parable or there is a uh, saying which says in Arabic, الطيورو على أشكالها تقعو. In, in English they say, uh, birds of the same uh, feather uh, flock together. Yani, subhanallah. Uh, one, yani, the kinds of, of, of birds, they will get together, right? They would like to, to mingle with each other. Certain yani, kinds of birds will, will mingle with each other. Other kinds will mingle with their kind as well. Uh, friends of the same characteristics, of the same traits, they will also intermingle with each other, right? And, and, and the uh, poet has said, عن المرء لا تسل وسل عن قرينه إن القرين بالمقارن يقتدي إذا كنت في قوم فصاحب خيارهم ولا تصحب الأرض فتردى مع الردي Subhanallah, this is hikmah, this is a wisdom. He said, when you want to ask about uh, a person, uh, ask about his friend. Don't ask about the person. Ask about his friend. For the, the friend uh, takes the example of his friend. So he will be the same as his friend. Rasul Rasulullah said, المرء على دين خليله. He said that the person is on the same uh, way as his friend. So if his friend is a righteous friend, that person is a righteous person. If the friend is a bad friend, that person is a bad person. Yeah, this is what it tells you. Don't ask about the person, ask about his friend. And that will tell you about the person about how good the person is. So don't mingle with bad persons because people will consider you as him. They will consider you as bad as your bad friend. If you befriend good persons, they will also know that you are a good person. This is very obvious. Also, Befriending good persons has the benefit of showing you what kind of defects you have, what kind of shortcomings you have, what kind of weaknesses you have, so that you may mend these weaknesses, these shortcomings. You may mend them, you may repair them. For Rasulullah said, المؤمن مرآة المؤمن that the believing person is the mirror of a believing person. So you, you, you will see in your uh, friend yourself. You will see yourself as you, are, as you are seeing yourself in a mirror. 
So everything that you have that is uh, not good, it will appear in that mirror. It will show. And then you know that you have something that is defect. You have to repair, you have to fix, you have to mend. The, uh, the believing uh, friend will tell you, will tell you that you have you know, this kind of shortcoming and will advise you to mend it and correct it. And this is a benefit. This is a great benefit, a great benefit. Uh, Al-Hasan, may, Allah, uh, may Allah's mercy be upon him. He said, Al-Mu'minu mir'atu akhih irra'a fihi ma la yu'jibuh saddadahu wa qawwamah He said that the believing uh, person is the mirror of a believing person. If he sees in him something that he does not like, he will tell him about it. And he will try to straighten that up. Wahatahu, and he protected him. Wahafidahu, and he surrounded him and protected him. And fisiri walalaniya, in public and in privacy. You know, the good friend will protect you in secrecy and in and publicly, because he is a good friend. He is a truthful friend. You will benefit from that, from befriending good friends, subhanAllah. Also, the one who sits with good friends, if he was a sinner, he will abstain from committing sins. Because he sits now with righteous people, he cannot commit sins, right? And yankaffa bimujalasatihim anil ma'asi. وَيَزْدَادُ فِي أَعْمَالِ الْبِرِّ وَالصَّلَاحِ مُقْتَدِيًا بِهِمْ He will abstain from committing sins and will increase in doing righteous deeds because he will take those righteous friends as an example. His behavior will change because of their impact. This is one of the benefits. The other benefit is to Preserve his time. Protect his time from being wasted in something that is useless. So when, we, when he sits with righteous people, he will only benefit in that time with what they advise. Sometimes they uh, explain an ayah. They will uh, elaborate on a prophetic tradition. They will talk about the seerah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They talk about the stories of the prophets. And these are all benefits. He will benefit a lot by sitting uh, with them. Also, sitting with righteous people and befriending righteous people can be the cause to enter with those upon whom there is no fear nor they would be saddened. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, الْأَخِلَّاءُ يَوْمَئِذٍ بَعْضُهُمْ لِبَعْضٍ عَدُوٌ إِلَّا الْمُتَّقِينَ He said, friends on that day, which is the day of judgment, will be enemies, foes to one another, except the righteous, except the righteous. And he continues saying, Ya ibadi la khawfun alaykum wa la antum tahzanoon. And he said, O oh my servants, there is no fear upon you, nor you will be saddened. So those are the righteous friends. Remember, those are the righteous friends. They are accepted, they are exempted. Al akhilla'u yawma'idhim ba'duhum li ba'din adu illa. Istithna, an exception. Illa al muttaqin Except for the righteous. He said, friends on that day are foes to one another, enemies to one another, except for the righteous. Ya ibadi la khawfun alaykum. Those are the muttaqin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling. O my servants, there is no fear upon you, nor you will be saddened. 
لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون Also befriending the good friends rids you of self admiration rids you of arrogance right because when you see them and you mingle with them and you know them you know that they are more than you in righteous deeds they are more righteous than you they are more pious than you so you want you know have self admiration of yourself you don't have ujub you don't have arrogance you would say oh i am better than them you cannot because they are better than you in in, in good deeds so you you rid your heart from those bad traits of which is al ujub al ujub al ajab bin nafs you know to 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 admire yourself uh, this is yani this is not something that is good that is very bad and arrogance this is the the traits of uh, shaitan uh, kibr uh, you know excessive pride was the cause of uh, expulsion of the of satan from paradise qala ana khayrun minhu right khalaqatani min narin wa khalaqtahu min teen he said i am better than adam you have created me from fire and he and you created him from clay so he thought he was better this is arrogance and this is pride, excessive pride so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said fakhruj minha fa innaka rajim so get out of it get out of paradise and that was the cause of getting out of paradise so uh, the one who befriends righteous persons will not have those traits rasulullah sallallahu said لو لم تكونوا تذنبون لخفت عليكم ما هو أشد من ذلك العجب العجب He said that if you weren't committing sins I would have feared for you worse than that العجب self-admiration self-admiration This is even worse than committing ordinary sins these are my dear brothers and sisters the diseases of the heart and we ought if one if someone has those to get rid of them because they are worse than uh, the diseases we all know uh, physically uh, getting the heart uh, uh, you know getting the heart to be purified is very important. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ تَزَكَّى Right? قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا The one who purifies his soul is the one who will be successful. Right? Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونٌ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٌ That day uh, wealth nor wealth not wealth nor children will be of benefit except for those who came to allah with a pure heart a pure heart so we should strive to have a pure heart free of arrogance